Hello and welcome zealous Fujoshis and Fudanshis and also to other dedicated listeners to another exciting episode of Zealed Fujoshi, the ultimate podcast for all things yaoi. I am your host, Cece, and today we have a special treat for you. I recently attended Anime Central, a convention that brought together anime, gaming, and pop culture enthusiasts from all over. Now let's dive into my exhilarating experience. This year marked my first venture into the convention scene since Zealed Fujoshi was formed back in 2020. Due to the COVID pandemic, many conventions were closed, including Anime Central. However, in 2022, while some conventions began to reopen, I decided to exercise caution and prioritize safety. Nonetheless, I want to extend a heartfelt shout out to the incredible Anime Central staff, especially Mr. and Mrs. Litson, for their friendly and awesome support. Thanks to them, I had the opportunity to conduct press interviews with some incredible voice actors that you'll soon hear on Zealed Fujoshi podcast. Anime Central was held at Donald Stephens Convention Center in Rosemont, Illinois. It was a sprawling haven for anime lovers located in the border of the Chicago metro area and just a train stop away from O'Hare Airport. It was conveniently accessible for attendees near and far. The convention's theme encompassed anime, gaming, and pop culture and the influence was palpable throughout the atm- atmosphere and activities. It was a vibrant gathering that catered to various interests, including the captivating niche we all love and adore, Yaoi. Now, let's delve into the standout events, panels, and workshops that made Anime Central an unforgettable experience. Crunchyroll, a leading anime streaming platform, hosted an industry panel where they unveiled some of their newly released anime. It was an exciting opportunity to get a glimpse of what's to come in the world of anime. Wit Studios, known for their exceptional work on Attack on Titan and Spy Family, also had a panel featuring the talented Yoji Asano, the character designer and chief animation director, alongside with Kazuki Yamanaka, the animation producer. It was an absolute thrill to meet them in person and learn about their creative process firsthand. They were both so excited to be in Anime Central, and if you ever see them in the hall walking, say hello. Trust me. They are super funny. Aniplex premiered MASH, Muscle and Magic, a highly anticipated series to the public before its official Crunchyroll release, which happened just seven days later after Anime Central ended. The opportunity to witness a premiere like this was truly extraordinary. Alex Lee, the leading voice actor of the series, was there to entertain. Aniplex had freebies for the people who attended the premiere. And let's not forget about MAPPA Studios' panel, where they showcased the epic Vinland Saga. The animators shared insights into their work and provided fascinating glimpses into their creative processes. We got to see episode 20 of Vinland Saga, episode Pain, before the rest of the world, which was also very cool. Meeting a special guest is always a highlight of any convention experience, and Anime Central didn't disappoint. I had the pleasure of crossing paths with the remarkable individuals like Kyoji Asano and Kazuki Yamanaka from WIT Studios. It was heartwarming to see their humility and how they interact personally. They were both 
super friendly and were not snobs to fans like me. Anime Central fans got to see Asano-san draw Anya Forger, which was also really cool. Additionally, I had the honor of meeting Alex Lee, American voice actor behind Zenitz, and Ray Chase, who brought the flashy Uzui Tengen to life from Demon Slayer. I even managed to secure their signatures on my prized Demon Slayer figures that will forever be a staple in my home. Alex was a complete art and Ray was so cool. He even did his Tengen voice for me, which was really flashy. He complimented my figure, which was a figure that was given to me by culture. It was a newly released figure of Tengen. Go check out both of the figures that they signed in my Instagram chat. If you want a similar figure for yourself, definitely check out the new releases of Cultured at their website, culture.com. But the excitement doesn't end there. I conducted a press interview with the talented trio of Rico Fajardo, Jonah Scott, and Griffin Burns. Stay tuned for an upcoming episode featuring their insightful and entertaining point of view as voice actors of our favorite series. So let's talk a little bit about this trio of awesome voice actors. First out is Rico Fajardo. He is the awesome voice actor behind Mirio of My Hero Academia. Junichiro Kubota from Tomo-chan is a girl. He is also Yoichi Isagi from Blue Lock. And let's not forget about Benny Maru from the series That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. Second on our list is Griffin Burns, who is Tartalia from Genshin Impact. He also voices Canute from Vinland Saga and the currently airing Moichiro Tokito from Demon Slayer which has a big part on the current seasons. Stay tuned. Of course, since this is a Fujoshi and a Fudanshi show, we cannot forget about Jonah Scott, who is the voice of Legoshi from the hit series Beastars. He is also Tatsu from The Way of the House Husband. And he also voices the menacing Koko Shibo from Demon Slayer. But of course, we can't forget him as the bad boy, Jiro Ogasawara, boyfriend of a Fujoshi in the hit Yaoi series, Saki and Mieno. And of course, another Yaoi series, the drummer that we love and hate from the series, Given, who is Akihiko Kaji. Please stay tuned in a couple of days as I work on their interviews for everyone. Enjoy. The cosplay scene at Anime Central was a sight to behold, with dedicated spaces for meetup and well-designed photo areas. Cosplayer had the perfect backdrop to showcase their creativity. Now let's explore the artist alley and the dealer's room. Prepare to be amazed because they were absolutely enormous. It took me a considerable amount of time to explore all the boots and discover the treasures they had to offer. So I'm gonna list a couple of my favorite boots that carried a couple of yaoi items that you guys should definitely check out. First off is the Otaku Market. It was a paradise of BL Benga. For any enthusiast boasting an expensive selection that could 
easily sweep you away into a captivating world of yaoi stories there's also the anime depot it was another fantastic booth offering a wide range of yaoi dvds blu-rays video games toys yaoi pillows and other captivating items speaking of captivating the convention exclusive booth called hadene caught my attention with its full uncensored yaoi series it was a treasure trove for those seeking a more daring yaoi and please don't miss out my favorite booth which is the mega gamer where you can find an extensive collection of yaoi related video games it was an absolute must visit for anyone who enjoys indulging in yaoi gaming adventure anime central not only satisfied my anime cravings but also catered to my gaming desire the convention provided a plethora of video game consoles ranging from retro to next gen including the coveted ps5 it was an absolute blast to play various pc and arcade all completely the gaming area was an excellent retreat whenever I needed a break from the convention bustle. It was refreshing to recharge while enjoying the friendly atmosphere and witnessing the intense gaming competition. Anime Central surprised me with its spacious layout, making it easy to navigate and explore without feeling overwhelmed. Despite its size, the convention exuded an open and inviting ambience. I effortlessly immersed myself in all the yaoi related activities from engaging industry panels to immersive watch parties. With an array of yaoi merchandise, fantastic events, and the chance to meet incredible voice actors and industry professionals. Anime Central proved itself to be a convention that welcomes and embraces our niche with open arms. As we wrap up this exciting episode, I encourage all of you to share your own convention, ask questions, and engage with us through comments and other communications that Zeal Fujoshi has. Your thoughts and feedback means the world to me. Until next time, dear listener, stay zealous and keep Fujoshi. This is Cece signing off, reminding you to stay tuned for more thrilling episodes of Zeal Fujoshi. Happy fangirling, everyone. Bye now!